Hey, my name's Justin, and I'm one of the account managers here at Tower Systems. Um, look, the purpose of this video is to just give you guys a quick run through on our software package we have for fashion and apparel businesses. Um, obviously, we've got functionality that handles uh, stock variants, so your different colour sizes and styles. Uh, we've got loyalty to marketing tools. Uh, we've got a lay-by facility, the Own Now Pay Later integrations. Um, but I'll start the demonstration by showing you a couple of recent integrations we've done. Uh, and those are uh, our integrations we've done with ChatGPT or OpenAI and our barcode lookup facility integration as well. Um, so this is our point of sale screen. Um, I've got a couple of items here. Um, so I'll just go through transacting a sale first and then I'll go through adding of, of, of the item. Um, so I'll bring up a couple of items here. You can have images assist you at the point of sale. Um, I've just got the one image against that product, but you can have multiple images and those images do flow across to your website if you've got a website that we integrate with. Um, so I'll bring up a couple of items here. As far as transacting the sale, I can assign it to a customer just by clicking the customer button here. Um, these customers can have discount profiles as well. So if you give specific discounts to certain customers, you can have the system automate that for you. Um, we can link with uh, most FPOS pin pads. Um, so most of your bank pin pads, Tyro, SmartPay, and a couple of others. So we'll push the amount directly to the FPOS terminal. Um, but I'll just end the sale normally. Um, now that can print a receipt to either a thermal A4 or A5 printer. Um, if they want a soft copy of that, we can also do it through uh, via SMS or email as well. Um, if you do assign the sale to a customer, you can actually flag how they want the receipt every time as well. So if they do want to email to them, um, you don't have to do anything. When you transact the sale, it will straight away email the receipt to that particular customer. Um, in this case, I'm just showing you what a receipt can look like. So this is just a typical thermal receipt. We'd put your logo up the top there, your store details. You'll see here the two items that are sold on this particular sale. Um, the variant is clearly listed there. So this particular shirt comes in uh, large and the colour is lime. Um, you'll see underneath this particular product is additional info about that item. Um, so if you want to pass on how to best uh, care or clean that shirt, um, any additional inf information that you want to pass on, care instructions, whatever it might be, you can automatically associate that, that information with that item. Um, if we keep going down here, uh, this is a form of customer loyalty the software can offer, um, really popular in the, the fashion and, and apparel space. Um, basically, it's uh, you set up the contributions out of the sale. Um, without getting into the nitty and gritty and the boring stuff, um, it will work out an amount to spit out as a dollar amount on the voucher. Um, you can call it whatever you want. You'll see here, this is 60 cents. So this is 60 cents that they can spend on their next purchase within a certain date range. It's a really good tool to increase basket size um, and you'll find customers coming back more and, and purchasing more with you. Um, so obviously with items that exist in the stock file already. Um, for items that don't, really simple. So you can simply scan a barcode at the point of sale. Um, if it doesn't exist, it's gonna pop up with this screen saying, hey, I can't find this item. If I click on the add button, what that's gonna do is if I go through the wizard, that's gonna uh, talk with the barcode lookup facility. So that's got over 600 million different products on their database. And you'll see here that it's found this particular long sleeve shirt for ladies. Straight away, that's grabbed the description of that product. If I click on next, I'm gonna to have to assign it to a department and or a category if I want to, um, assign a supplier, obviously. Um, this is where I put in my costing information. So I'm just gonna say that costs 19.95 and my sell price is 29.95. Um, you've got all additional info here, which you can bypass. You've got the ability to do an extended description. So that's what I demonstrated at the start there. Um, you've got images. So if it's got images on the database, it'll automatically pull those images in as well. Um, if I click on next, it's automatically grabbed a web description as well. Now let's just say, uh, as an example, that didn't bring over any web description. Um, this is where our integration with Chat GPT or OpenAI comes in really handy. So if you just click on that generate AI description button, what that's doing is it's allowing AI to write a quick little blurb about that particular product. 
But you'll see here that if you run your eye over it, it's giving uh, the customer uh, additional information about that particular shirt. Um, obviously, you need to run your eye over it to make sure it's all accurate, but most of the time it is. Um, you can add things to it or you can remove text off it if you think it's too long. Um, but you'll see here within the click of a button and within a couple of seconds, that saves you a bunch of time putting in an extended description for your website. Um, you can copy that over to the extended description as well by just clicking this button, um, and that will obviously take it over to the extended description, which can, as I said, print out on, on customers' receipts or invoices. Um, if you want that item appearing on your website straight away, you can simply click on the, or tick that little tick box that says web store item, um, and that flows across to the website. Um, so yeah, uh, within a couple of seconds, I've just added that product in. Um, with minimal keystrokes, uh, it's given an extended description, a web description, uh, web price uh, descriptions and so forth. Um, so really handy tool. Um, if I go back to the stock screen, um, just a couple of things here. So you'll see here that uh, I've got my images tab, which is brought across from that database. Um, I've got my variants tab here, which I'll bring up an item with variants. I'll just demonstrate how that's displayed. So you'll see here that if the item has variants, um, it will clearly state that it has got variants. So if you click on the variants tab over here, you've got all your variants group for that particular product. So you can change that. Um, so you might be a store that might sell bed feet. So you might want to group that by thread count and so forth. You can have varying groups that accommodate that. Um, in this case, this particular shirt comes in different colours and sizes. But if it was a shirt that came in, to say, different colours but not sizes, you can simply just have the colour there as well. And if I click on the stock variants button, it will clearly list all the variants against that particular product. So the different colours and sizes that I've currently got in stock. Um, if I go to the images, um, I quickly touched on the background removal tool that we've done as well. Um, I can right click on that and click on remove background. Really handy for images that are flowing across to the website. If, so if you quickly want to uh, remove the background of those images. Um, you don't have to go through a third party or anything like that. It's all in built into the software. Um, you do need an account with either of the two that we integrate with, but I'm pretty sure one is free. Um, and same with the chat GPT stuff, you do need an account with that for the integration to work as well. Excellent. Um, I brought a couple of items up here. So the next thing I'll go through is our lay-by facility. Um, so uh, obviously, you know, a couple of years ago, there was a big push for the own now pay laters, like your after pay and zip pay. Um, but certainly in the last year or so, we're seeing a lot more customers come back to the good old fashioned lay buys. Um, and we've got a facility that, that allows you to handle lay buys really easily. Um, so if I assign this sale to a customer, I'm just going to choose Blake Randall here. You'll see that it's a cash sale to Blake Randall at the moment. Um, but if I click on the lay by button, um, you'll see that that changes to purple. And when I go end sale, it brings up my lay by management screen. Um, so basically, however I've set it up in the back end regarding a deposit, you know, cancellation fees, uh, the different durations that you can choose from, um, it just gives you full flexibility over how you want to uh, treat the lay by essentially. So I've got a flat fee um, as my deposit. You can override that. So if they want to pay more, you can simply just put in the amount there. Um, you can have that set as a percentage. Um, so if you've got it set as a percentage, it will just work out that percent based on the sale um, and use that as the deposit amount. Um, but as soon as I go OK, uh, it does a couple of things. So it will print a receipt that looks similar to this one. Um, I've got my items here, the total amount, the lay-by schedule that they need to stick by. Every time they do something to the lay-by, it prints the history on the receipt as well. So you'll see here that the history is, is clearly printed on there. Um, and the software actually gives you the ability to partially collect certain items in the lay-by as well. So if you've got uh, multiple items in the lay-by um, and the customer's paid enough to collect say two or three of those items, um, you can mark them as uh, oh, sorry, collected in the system um, and that will clearly uh, um, give you the date that those items were collected on the receipt as well. Um, so yeah, really good lay-by management facility that allows you to, you know, uh, swap, you know, colours out or variants or, or different sizes of products, um, delete things off the lay-by, add things to the lay-by and, and, you know, make payments and so forth. 
Um, look, I'll get to our next thing, which is the stock manager tool. Um, uh, we're getting a lot of good feedback. We've had the stock manager tool in the software for quite a number of years now, but basically what it does is it allows you to bulk manipulate a bunch of stock at the same time. Um, so if I click on my stock manager tool, again, you can have a button on the home screen here, which takes you straight to there. Um, let's just say I want to search everything in my apparel department. So that's going to find everything in that particular department, which I've only got uh, seven records here. Um, you'll see here that I can customize this screen. So depending on what I'm using this tool for, I can customize this screen to accommodate that best. So let's just say I'm using it to get stock ready for my website. What I can do is I can remove all this other item uh, information here and just have my web associated information listed there. So my web price, uh, whether it's a web store item, whether it contains a web description um, and so forth. So straight away, I can see that none of these are a web store item. Um, four of these have web descriptions. Um, they all, or sorry, four of them have a web price. Um, but rather than doing it individually, what I can do is if I go select all, edit selected, I can come over here and go, right, I want to update my web price and I want to use my base price as my sell price. And I don't want to um, increase that by any certain percentage. I just want to completely mirror my sell price with my web, web price. Um, as soon as I click on update prices, you'll see here at the click of a button um, that added a web price to two of those. This one is my department, so it doesn't have a price, obviously. Um, but those two items quickly changed from $0 to $39.95, which is exactly my sell price in the system as well. You can imagine if you had, you know, hundreds of items in that list without going through individually, you can do that in bulk, which is really handy. Um, let's just say all of these were uh, dresses. What I can also do is if I go select all, edit selected, I can come over here and add the word dress to the start of all of those descriptions. As soon as I go apply, you'll see that that added the word dress to the start of those descriptions. So when people are searching for dress and whatnot in Google, the more keywords you can capture in your descriptions, um, the more your website or the higher your website is going to rank, sorry. Um, yeah, a really powerful tool to bulk manipulate a bunch of stock at the same time, um, whether that's changing department for those items or whether you're adjusting the price, so you can, uh, you know, adjust the prices uh, from a particular supplier. The supplier might say, hey, all of our prices have gone up by 5%. You can just do that in one foul swoop in this, in this particular facility. Um, also got options to whether you want to send it to a report, whether you want to stock take that list and, and a couple of different other options as well. Um, marketing tools, um, really simple. So you can market out based on uh, products people have purchased, uh, departments they've purchased in. Um, you can do birthday discounts, um, all of that sort of good stuff. Um, and we can es essentially extract lists. So you can um, get those lists of email addresses and put it into a, a marketing platform like MailChimp or something like that. Um, or you can just send directly out from the system. So if it's just general emails or text messages that you want to send out, you can do that directly out of the system. Um, uh, basically, obviously, the software does a lot more than that, which, um, you know, if you're keen to sort of see more of it um, or have any questions that were left unanswered, um, either reach out to Tim or myself and we'd be happy to organise a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session. Um, we do have a, a lot of specific functionality videos that we've done specifically on certain functionality within the software. I'm happy to provide you with links to those as well, just so you can see that. Um, just on specific functionality, we do have a workshop facility. So a lot of our apparel or fashion stores might do things like alterations and things like that. Um, we do have a facility that handles, um, you know, labour and stock used against a particular job as well. Um, uh, as far as pricing goes, really simple. Uh, it's $185 per month. Um, that's for unlimited users. That price gets you everything that I've demonstrated plus more. Um, it also gets you 24 seven local support. Um, we've got an online knowledge base with articles and videos on how to do anything within the software. Obviously we've got our, our phone based support as well and email based support. 
Um, that includes all the software enhancements and updates throughout the year as well. That includes e-commerce integration to platform uh, platforms like Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce and BigCommerce. And that includes zero integration as well. So we'll put all your accounting data to zero at the end of each day. Um, but yeah, as I said, happy to uh, organize a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session if there's anything left unanswered and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.